Welcome back again, my dear students. Our lecture is uh, talking about types of relative clauses. That is the same unit, unit 14, which is on page 174. Now, how many types of relative clauses are there in English grammar? There are two types. They are either restrictive or defining information necessary here or non-restrictive non-defining information is unnecessary here okay now types of dependent cl clauses here there are three main types of dependent clauses dependent relative noun and adverbial a relative clause is an adjective clause this is very important when we talk about relative clause that means adjective clause modifies or describes the noun okay what is the difference between a clause and a sentence a clause is a group of relative related words containing a subject subject and a verb okay and we know the function of subject and the function of the verb a clause comes in four types in four types if it is a clause independent dependent relative or a noun clause or a noun clause this is very important that is the meaning of a clause now what is the difference between a clause and a sentence this is necessary in the exam a clause can't stand by alone a sentence can stand by alone with a complete thought okay opposite of a clause now the most important chart here this is a very important chart here in fact sh uh, sh in fact it shows the difference between defining and non-defining defining means no commas we can use that and relative relative pronouns can be omitted or deleted three characteristics three rules for example I called my brother who lives in Ontario no comma there is no comma here means I have more than one brother I called the one that lives in Ontario whereas here my brother if there is a comma is older means I have only one brother this is very important I give you two sentences I ask you to show the difference in meaning the second characteristic or the second rule we can use that that can be used here okay that for an animate or animate okay Whereas here, we can't use that. That is not allowed if the, if the clause is non-defining or non-restrictive. The third rule, relative pronouns can be omitted here. Can be omitted, for example, that's the man I like. I can't say that's the man I like without the use of who that whereas in non-defining here for example they introduced me to John comma who I liked immediately I can't say they in introduced me to John I liked immediately why because it is non-defining next time we can have 
exercise about defining restrictive and non-defining close non-restrictive thank you for your attention